Shani, and today we're going to take a look at a breaking board paradox. In this case, the board's four feet long and it's made of pine. It's also three quarter inch thick by one inch wide. It has a few small knots in it, but not too many. Now, just to make this challenging, we're going to fill these two glasses with water. There we go. Now, these glasses are going to be the supports for the board. They're going to hold it up. Now, if you imagine I push down on this, this whole thing should fall over. But what I want to do is I want to break this board and do so very, very quickly. I have this metal bar, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to swing it as fast as hard as I can, try and break the board, and let's see what happens. Ready? One, two, three. And the glass has stayed up. work pretty well. I think we should try it again. I have another board here, and I also have a second camera which shoots high speed, and hopefully that'll give us a better clue of what's actually taking place. Saw the board. Put it in place. There we go. Ready? One, two, three. I think that's pretty amazing. Now this wooden bar is fairly uniform. Its center of mass is about right here, so that if I apply a torque to it, it's going to rotate around that position. I put it on the cups, and when I hit it very quickly, it has enough inertia that I can break it in place. We now have two separate bars, and its center of mass is now shifted over to the center of these bars. So once again, now it's going to rotate around its center of mass right here, and I push down on this way, so it's lifting up from here, and it simply misses the cup. I think we should try this once more and see if we can do it a third time. Okay, ready? One, two, three, go! And there we go. I'd like to thank you for stopping by and come back and see me again. Ready? One, two, three, go! And we have a mess. <laughs> well, that didn't work. If we examine the video frame by frame, we can actually see what went wrong. The brake's okay. The two pieces are starting to turn. And here's the problem. The opposite ends hit the box, knocking it just enough to start spilling the water. You can see the water going up, falling over, and down it goes.